Hi folks. Over the last couple of days, I've started to have a play around with chat GPT. Apparently it can do a lot of great stuff. And I was just curious if I could use it regarding Joomla and programming with Joomla. So I set myself a little challenge to see if I can get G chat GPT to write a Joomla 4 module very simplistic module hello world very easy so this is the website it's uh, the website's called openai.com so when you go over here when you sign up you can sign up for free if you want a professional version obviously you have to pay for that but you can still use chat gpt to do basic stuff so when you log in you have a screen and you type in what you want chat GPT to do and basically it will go off and do it now you have to be very aware that you have to treat chat GPT like as if you're speaking to somebody so if I was speaking to a Joomla for developer programmer I'd have to explain to him what I wanted I'm not a programmer myself unfortunately I don't do programming and that's why I have this interest in whether I can get chat GPT to program a module for me so I logged in and the question I asked chat GPT was excuse the actual typo there but I typed in I need I should be a rather than two I need a Joomla 4 module that prints hello world on the screen when published I will need HTML, CSS and PHP files. So that's what I asked chat GPT to do. And that went off and it produced these files, the scripting for these files. Now, as I say, I'm not a programmer. I don't know what the scripting is, but this is the scripting it produced. <clears throat> so you have four files, I believe. Mod hello PHP, helper.php, you have default.php which goes into the tmpl directory which i have to create and then obviously style.css for the css style now i created them for files but i realized that you need an xml file also to define all the files that you're going to be using so i asked it i said i will also need an xml file so off chat gpt went away and produced this xml file now you'll notice that in the xml file it states there's an index.html and index.html and for people who understand programming with joomla the index html file is there for our security point of view there's nothing in it and if we look at what's inside basically that's all it is there's nothing in there at all it's basically just for security but the chat GPT didn't produce the HTML file, so I just had a, had a copy of a, an index.html file which I, I could use, uh, which I used. <clears throat> so I have five files all together, which I copied and pasted up here. There's a copy command, and you can copy the code. And basically, it tells me at the end what I have to do when the, after the XML file. Um, up here has the instructions as well um, okay so we need to now now that we have the five files we need to put them in their individual file formats so there's there's the files there so you have helper index html mod hello.php and mod hello.xml and style.css and in tmpl you have default PHP and index.html. If you don't have the index.html file, it'll actually come up with an error. So make sure that you have the index.html file, even though there's nothing in it. So what you do then is you take all these files and you compile them into a zip file that Joomla understands. So select zip. And that creates a zip file called hello world2.zip. <clears throat> so 
So then once you do that, then you go off to Joomla and you go to install the module. So we go to extensions and we go to find the file that's there. Double click and it said the installation of the module was successful. So then we go over to where the module is located. Hello world, that's it there. Okay, so we'll go into the module and we'll tell it to publish the module. We'll tell it to put it on the side, the sidebar on the right hand side. This uh, template is Cassiopeia, so it's the default template. And obviously the menu assignment is gonna be on all pages. So once you're happy with that, you select save and close. So if we go down the list, hello world is there, okay. So let's go and click on the actual site and see what comes up. So it's on the sidebar on the right. There you go. Hello world module, hello world. Now I got excited when I got it working, but I will kind of explain that I had to do that four times and out of four, one of them was correct with the coding. So before you get excited and run off and start signing up to chat GPT and thinking that it can go off and design plugins and components and modules, it's kind of hit and miss with the coding. Uh, as I say, I failed more times than I got it working. But at the end of the day, it worked. And there's no way that I could actually go in and I could write this code because XML files are okay, but the likes of this coding, I don't know any of that coding at all. So the fact that chat GPT compiled the program for me and I put them files together and then installed it on Joomla and it worked, is a good start. And I think the question that you ask chat GPT, how you ask it is very important. And maybe because I'm new to it, I'm not asking, I didn't ask it correct. And maybe that's why some of the code didn't work at the initial stages when I tried this. So you start to practice and you start to ask it in a better way and more detailed way rather than a vague way. And you have a better chance of getting the right code that will work. So there you go. So that's chat GPT AI creating program files. Uh, it's a Joomla 4 module, Hello World, for Joomla. And I have no pro pro programming experience at all, and that created that for me. So I hope that helps somebody. Uh, maybe they'd be interested in getting started with ChatGPT and see how you get on with, the, with, the, with your experience. If you do, obviously let me know. Uh, like, subscribe, and all that kind of stuff. And leave a comment or email me. And let me know how you get on. It'd be good to see what you've done. Cheers.